Little side note. Talking about getting uh, bullied. Little side note. When I was 18, I ended up at a birthday party with my uh, then girlfriend, future wife. The birthday party was her ex boyfriend. And he wasn't happy that we were together. And I remember saying, This is a really bad idea, we shouldn't go. She's like, Oh, no, no, I've been promised that nothing's going to happen, everything will be good, he just wants me to show up and we'll have a couple of drinks and we'll go. Yeah, I don't believe it. Anyway, away we went because she was going whether I went or not and I wasn't going to let her go on her own. So, uh, we turned up at the party, there would have been a good, I don't know, 30, 40 people there, men, women, boys, girls, whatever. Um... She proceeded to sink enough alcohol to float a ship and rapidly approached unconsciousness. At which point uh, she was assisted upstairs to one of the bedrooms to sleep it off. I went with her. I'm like, what are we going to do here? I mean, unfriendly, hostile territory surrounded by an increasingly aggressive ex-boyfriend who incidentally stood about four inches taller than me and outweighed me by a good 20 pounds. I was a gorilla. Um, and not just him, of course, but all his friends. It was his birthday. So, uh, while I'm pondering what we're going to do here, he, uh, well, the one of his friends came up and said, yeah, yeah, you need to leave the the room. Why? Well, he wants to talk to her. I'm like, she's unconscious on the bed, by which time she was. Uh, He's not going to have a chance to talk to her. He's like, you need to leave the room. You need to leave the room now. I'm like, it's not going to happen. Not leaving an unconscious woman in the bedroom with a horny, drunken idiot. He's like, you can't call him that. I can call him whatever I want. I'm not leaving this room. Anyway, this conversation left the room, went onto a, um, onto the top of the stairs, which the traditional council house layout in the UK is there's a landing, and then a switch back and you go down the stairs and that's where we had this conversation uh, which degenerated into three of us at the top of the stairs pushing and shoving and um, push one of them down the stairs and was being beaten on by the other two when some other guy never seen him before came up and broke it up don't know who he was he was an older guy by which I mean he was in his 20s, we were teens. And um, sat then downstairs, bundled me back into the room, bedroom. So the three of us, me, the older guy, and her, are there. And it's like, you need to get out of this house, they're going to kill you. I'm like, that's a great idea. How do you suggest I do it? I've got to go down there through the middle of them. It's like, um, you wait here. We'll give them five, ten minutes to calm down, and then we'll uh, we'll get you out of here. Okay, do what you need to do, but I'm um, not going peacefully, and I'm not leaving her. And she's coming with me. Agreed, he says. She shouldn't be here. He said she should never have come. Anyway, uh, five minutes went by, and. He came back up the stairs, he says, okay, I've got the guys to bundle him out in the back garden. You've got five minutes while he has a smoke break. And you need to be out of here. No, we didn't have a car. I had to help her out the front door with this other guy's help. Stagger off up the street under her weight. Walk two and a half miles home. Probably further than that, actually. 
And um, get up the next morning and she's like, where am I, what happened? And how did you get all those bruises? I'm like, you remember I said it was a really bad idea to go to this guy's birthday party, it'd be trouble. And she's like, yeah. I said, well, guess what? It was a really bad idea and there was trouble. Was there? And that kind of set the course for the relationship, actually. I would say things were a bad idea. She'd do them anyway, and I'd get her fat out the fire. So, that was a regular thing with, uh, with neighbors, uh, in bars. Um, yeah, I took a few lumps. Ah. All good. I was in love, what can I tell you? People do silly things when they're in love. Uh, interesting. But yeah, that's the story of a, an 18th birthday party, not mine. It um, went very badly and could have gone a damn sight worse. I wasn't going to leave her in that bedroom unattended. I was actually chaperoning her and making sure nothing happened. She wouldn't have known. She was out of it. Um, stood my ground. Took half a kicking, gave one back. Far from the first time I've been in that kind of a position. I don't enjoy it. Still, it is what it is. What are you going to do? I have two choices. Stay there and uh, argue and get the crap kicked out of me. Leave. Yeah, right. Wasn't the right thing to do, was it? There are many times in my life I've done the wrong thing for which I will always regret that. But faced with certain circumstances, there's only one choice. Um, so there you go. So, if any of those gentlemen from that party are watching, I'd like to thank the guy that actually got the two of us out of there. To this day, I don't know who he was or why he did it. It was just the right thing to do, and thank him for doing it. If you're one of the other guys, fuck you. Because you knew exactly what was going to happen when I closed that bloody door behind me for the left. And that says a damn sight more about you than it does me. This has been another short episode of my life. Thanks for watching. And uh, I'll say goodnight for now and we'll catch you later.